What's going on YouTube? Clayky's all back again with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius Newsday Tuesday. And today we're talking about Final Fantasy X. It was a week off from when I came back. We talked about Mave, and I built up my Mave. I'm gonna show her in this video, but I am gonna be going for Summoner Yuna, really good STMR. The unit's gonna be okay getting some global buffs. And then obviously Titus is getting his NVA. Waka and Riku are coming around, and then Orin will be around shortly after that. So let's get into it. This video is sponsored by the Amazon App Store. As you guys know, the Amazon App Store and Amazon Coins are the best way for you guys to save money on your in-app mobile purchases in games like FFBE and War of the Visions, and they're having a Celebrate Black Friday Amazon App Store FFBE deal. If you guys are in the Amazon version of FFBE and you buy one of these in-game bundles that are having for Black Friday from Square Enix and FFBE, the Amazon App Store is going to give you a little something back. You're going to get $10 in credit in FFBE that you can spend extra. So you're going to be buying a nice little bundle, and then you're going to be getting $10 on top of that. Now, guys, this offer runs from November 20. 25th to December 1st and you guys are going to be able to do it if you're a new Amazon App Store member or an old one you guys are going to be able to take a part of this deal but remember you must be on the Amazon App Store version of FFBE so download the Amazon App Store then download FFBE once you purchase in there you're going to be able to get this $10 rebate back in and if you're looking for even more savings remember Amazon coins are a great way you get in there you buy a big old bunch of Amazon coins to do your summons you get a bunch of lapis and you get a discount because Amazon coins are actually worth more as you can see here you spend $400 you're actually going to get $500 worth of Amazon coins that you can trade in for Lapis and other bundles in FFBE. So click the links in the description below, one for the Black Friday deal and the other one if you guys need to load up on coins. Thank you to Amazon for sponsoring this video. Happy holidays to you guys. Now let's get on with the rest of the video. So since my Mave summons that you guys saw, and you guys can check out that video if you haven't, they were amazing by the way, I've been grinding a lot of the story. You can see I'm up to 28,750 Lapis. I, I, I also finished all of Season 4. What's cool is FFB allows you to just go straight into Season 4, and I'm not even close to being done with season three i'm probably halfway through so but i have been grinding that if you guys want to get some lapis you're coming back into the game like me get ready for these hype final fantasy 10 units uh and if you just like final fantasy 10 grind the story out it's half off right now from what i understand on energy and make sure you have a unit for season three at least i'd have blue fiend in my party always because there's certain missions you don't want to have to be switching out then have a unit that does um lb that has an lb at the beginning so you can get those lb quests and the other one is like evoke an esper so make sure you have somebody that puts up that esper gauge to full so you can just go ahead and get that mission done as well but look Looking at these units, we have Summoner Yuna, and again, she is getting a uh, global buff, and she's kind of like a bear, she was like a bare bones summoner damage dealer. I uh, had some support, obviously, a little bit of special pizzazz to her, but nothing too grand. However, these Final Fantasy X units are like the Final Fantasy VII units with Tifa and Sephiroth, where they were like premium units, so it's much harder to pity them and much harder to obtain them in that way. Uh, but we can see here we do have a Black Friday special, uh, Summoner Yuna discounted step up summon, okay? It's going to take you guys five runs of this thing to guarantee you guys the NV unit. So you get 20 tickets, you get four per. For what I understand, four times five, you get 20, right? And it's going to be 12,000 Lapis per run. Uh, so it's again, it's so much harder to pity these units and get them. And a lot of them, you want to EX all the way to three. So it's going to be tough here. And again, I'm not sure if I can count Yuna as being worth it for the general population here, like Tifa and Sephiroth were uh, before them. But we do get Orin coming out, and he's really strong as well. Uh, but we can see at the end of the step up, we do get a uh, guaranteed NV. The, the next step three says NV or Rainbow. We all know what we're getting. The lucky sons of bucks out there are going to get an uh, NV. Good for you. But a lot of us are getting rainbows. But it's not guaranteed to be Yuna, obviously. Hopefully. Hopefully, there ain't no off banners for all of us out there like I got Vivi last time. Hopefully, I can get a unit there and uh, guarantee myself getting her. I really like her character. Moving on to uh, the way she looks in FFB with her um, Val 4 behind her back when she brave shifts. Totally amazing. From what I understand, her normal form is a little lackluster. Again, they're getting a global upgrade. We're going to have to see exactly how that stacks up. Her vision card really isn't like it's really just for her. Um, in my opinion, there's not a lot going for it for other people. Looking at our Super Trust Mastery reward, like I said at the top, it's really, really strong. It's an accessory giving you guys attack, magic, and spirit. Attack and magic 55, spirit 60. So for all those true double hand, true dual wield, true defense, whatever you guys want to call it, true spirit. That's going to be coming out for you guys to be able to get those stats in there and get them uh, hyped up from that and bumped up from that as well. We get two abilities here. One is boost LB damage by 50%, so you get those nice stats, and it's an LB booster there, and that's going to be for everybody. But Whistle's Promise, which is the first ability they show here, is going to be for Yunus, in any Yuna unit, and then any Tidus unit, from what it looks like here. You guys are going to get attack and spirit plus 500. That is a crap ton of attack and a crap ton of spirit. 
um, on any of the Yuna and Titus users. So even if you just think about using star player Titus, you kind of want to get your hands on this STMR, uh, but you can see that it's not stackable. So you really don't need two. You just want to get a hold of one and you'll be good to go. But it's a very, very strong STMR if you're looking to use those units. And from what I understand, star player Titus isn't somebody that's terrible. He's going to be great. Get this necklace on him. He's going to be even better. Looking at the Trust Master Ward, we have Spira's Ray of Light, boost evocation damage by 30%, and boost damage from various chains by 100%. So it's going to be pretty good, especially on Yuna, obviously. Uh, on Summoners, that's going to be great as well. And then they don't, again, they don't really show too much where the uh, global buffs are going. So I guess that's going to be later on that we're going to learn that, obviously, through the data mine. And my boy Titus, I love his art here. The name is kind of bad. I like the Japanese name much better, at least the translation that we think the name was uh, from Japanese. But we're getting Neo Vision Awakenable. I'm going to have to see how many star player Titus I have. Hopefully, I can get more if I don't have enough. Actually, I haven't looked into that. I've been really focused on Maeve and building her up. And then Waka is going to be able to go to seven star. And hey, you know, Waka is a good friend. So that, that's something there. But we're not too worried about that specifically. Um, you know, for us playing this game, unless you really want to run Waka. Now we have Albed Girl Riku. She is going to be getting a special step up. You can do it one time, and at the end, you are guaranteed Riku. Personally, I'm probably not doing that. I don't have enough Lapis, okay? I'm running slow. I want Yuna. I want to get her ready, and I might be going for Orin as well. Riku's going to be a side girl, sadly, uh, for everybody out there. Hopefully, you don't get too upset with me. I just don't think she's really the greatest in the world. Um, I just got Maeve. She's kind of like a uh, mix. You can see that she does get... Uh, some ability to guard and you know she could she could provoke she got some uh, chance of being targeted but I have made for that and I love Riku to death don't get me wrong but it's just I'm getting spread a little thin right now with having to go to pity for Maeve and I'm not spinning in the game like, like I used to obviously so I have to pick and choose where I'm gonna go you guys can decide for yourselves but that's what I'm deciding for uh, right there and then obviously we're gonna have an event going on with this um, walk and get this upgrade. Uh, we can get some nice items for this. I'm not gonna go over this too much again. Like I said, I, uh, I'm just gonna go over the parts that interest me. That's the way I'm gonna move on with FFB. We do have a Chronicle Battle, which I have learned to love these things. I think they're freaking awesome. Uh, and we're gonna be able to go against Behemoth, I think is what it was, and get some nice, uh, you know, Barrier Bracer. We get some, uh, Nirvana here, which is sick, actually. And we, we, we can use that again for the two characters, uh, and the characters from FF10, which is cool. I talked about the Vision card here, the Sending. I don't think it's really that great. It does give you guys uh, physical and magic damage against fairies 100% which is cool, right? That could be used on everybody the spirit 80% Obviously everybody could be a little more tanky with that or if they do spirit damage I guess but the boost spirit by 500 on ff10 unit That's really gonna be for unit specifically in my opinion. I obviously for tedious you're gonna be putting on some kind of attack uh, attack vision card we have Thunder Planes here, where you had to dodge roll a million times to get that uh, that ultimate weapon. Uh, but you can see here, we get Defensive Spirit boosted, boost physical and magic damage against fairies by 50%. So it just seems like a a worse version of Yuna's, because really this is where I'm looking at, you know, for the for the for what I'm gonna get from it. Uh, personally, is this killer? These other stats are great, but they're not anything too amazing. And the Yuna's is obviously 100, but that's because she's a premium unit, right? She's much more hard to get your hands on. Uh, from what I understand, we have an intro quest. We have an NT guaranteed step up summon. You do 4,000, you do 6,000, you can do it twice. This is probably some kind of Black Friday deal or something. Um, you get 50 times uh, Trust Master, uh, Super Trust Master Moogle exchange tickets, and you get a Transcension Pearl. I just am, I've learned, it's Cyber Monday special, is what it says here at the top. I'm not the biggest fan of these because you just get a random NV, and like, I don't know. I uh, The other thing, perks are okay, but it's not too anything crazy. Uh, then scrolling on down, we have a ton of Cyber Monday bundles. We do not have the prices on these, so I'm not going to go over them. You guys can look into them yourselves. Remember, with the Amazon deal I just talked about, you're going to get $10 back if you buy certain bundles that we showed at the very beginning of the, uh, of, of the video. So make sure you go back and look at that. Click the link in the description below to make sure you're buying the ones that do apply to that using Amazon coins. This one right here is very interesting. You get a ton of tickets, some NV tickets, a lot of lapis. This is the one I might be looking forward to. Uh, there's another one as well with the NV like, select tickets. I do do believe that's a black friday deal so there's a lot of great deals in here i mean obviously i don't know the price if they're great i have to look at the prices and look at how they are but they, they like the items inside of it look tantalizing they look cool and that's what i'm going to be looking for we do have ex ability upgrades and i know a lot of people out there are looking very forward to starlight elena uh however and then titus obviously getting some buffs as well um people i'm still worried about elena in a way that uh she just might not be as good as her first version that came out because of her restriction to her elements but if you really like Starlight Elena, you've been getting a lot of her. This is your chance to be able to use her and uh, be a little bit stronger. Yoshikiri and then uh, Gabronk also got some cool stuff. Uh, but again, I don't think it was anything too crazy. I think Elena would be the one people are most excited about. 
uh, and are pumped to be doing. Then you can see there's obviously some changes to a couple of things. Uh, it, you guys can read through this again. I, I don't have to cover this too much, in my opinion. This is just miscellaneous things getting upgraded, like the Calabog for uh, Titus. And then you can see some changes to the insignias that you guys can do as you do those battles. Moving on, there's something else I wanted to bring up. The Black Friday bundles here. And this one is what is, uh, let's see, this one right here. And I do believe maybe on the live stream they said it would be 100 bucks USD, <laughs> US currency. But you get 16,000 Lapis, and then you get Envy Fragment Select Summon Tickets. Uh, two of them so if we scroll on down you can see what you can buy with those summon ticket or those like uh, Shard summon tickets or shard select tickets and you can see that we do have Aerith, Tifa and Sephiroth here Now they're premium units you can get up to a hundred of those shards if you buy this bundle It's gonna be a lot But I mean you do get lapis worth here if it's a hundred dollars like we think it is at least I, th I think they said in the live stream So uh, for your wells out there you're looking to spend you've been saving I think it's a good deal if you really want to use Tifa or Sephiroth It's really gonna push them up get them up to that EX3 you've been looking for but look over the deals guys decide for yourself again I don't know the prices on them this one right here looks seems pretty good and now I don't have teeth I don't have Sephiroth so not that good for me but for people out there who are trying to build them that might be great for you let me see if I missed anything here before we go look at my Mave uh, free daily summons you want to make sure you're doing that for sure right you get free daily tin summon every day 3% rate for envy units hey you get uh you get some Super Trust Mastery reward tickets, and then you also get VIP coins. Make sure you log in every day and do this. It's going to give you a lot of value, in my opinion. So, let's move over to something I'm excited about. I've been building up. We have my Maeve here. Yes, I got her to EX plus two, and she seems pretty good, okay, overall. She has three, 31,000 31, HP, 50, uh, 5,400 uh, defense, and 5,000 spirit on her this is like her tanky defense side right when she's trying to do defense now i don't have the best elemental resistances on this side i wanted to give her something because obviously elemental damage still happens i need to level up the limit burst still that'll happen through maybe me grinding the story because again if you're coming back to ffb you do get limit burst experience uh when you use it and it just it's just it's just easier to get the lbs up now now when i brave shifter check this out thirty-five thousand hp 4,000 defense 6,200 spirit and then we're going to go over the stats here. I probably need to show everything over there. I have everything over 100. Now, again, this is just an all-around use Mave. Obviously, if I get into a fight, I need to have like 300% dark resist or, you know, 200, 200, 250. You know, I'll have to mix this up. But this is general use. And just be feeling good about it. You know what I mean? Being happy. I have a vision card all the way maxed out. Here are the abilities. Uh, and I, I just thought it, this unit is it's crazy to go from when I was playing the game and kind of like laid off it for a little bit. Coming now, and these units are absolutely bonkers, right? Let me go back to the Brave Shift. I didn't show these abilities here. Insane unit for me, at least. I've been loving her. She seems super strong. I can't wait to get into some tougher content and test her out there. Uh, but I'm having a lot of fun with her. And uh, for everybody out there that got her, I hope you guys have a lot of fun with her too. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below um, how you're feeling about Yuna. Like, I need to hear your guys' opinion on her. Because obviously, I'll go for her because I love Final Fantasy X. But I need a little bit of, like, maybe a non-Homer edition of how good she's going to be. Global upgrades aside. Uh, subscribe for future content. Click the link in the description below for that Amazon deal. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.